hello Aquarius I hope you guys are doing awesome so happy weekend to you Aquarius I hope you get some time leisure time to yourself uh, it's Saturday morning where I am so I hope you're gonna have beautiful weather wherever you are Aquarius you want to check up on the latest energies between you and your soulmate whether you're currently in contact with them or not we're gonna check up on that energy First part of this video, we're going to ask what's coming towards you, Aquarius, what you'll be dealing with facing, how to best handle it for your highest good, and how you are currently doing on this soulmate journey. Second part of this video, we're going to ask about your soulmate, whether you're currently in contact with them or not, we're going to ask what's going on with your soulmate, how they are relating to you at this time emotionally, and what's on their mind, what they're thinking, feeling, especially in relation to you Aquarius let's do this universe please step in show very clear and important messages for the sign of Aquarius for Aquarius highest good please universe what's coming towards Aquarius what will Aquarius be dealing with facing and how to best handle it for the highest good universe how is Aquarius doing currently on this soulmate journey What's coming towards Aquarius? Oh, very strong extra message wants to pop out here for you. Mm hmm. Wow. King of Cups. This is you loving your person quietly from a distance. Yeah. Uh, wanting to communicate with them. This is you loving this person. You know communication is needed between the two of you. Yeah, you see, this is you needing this communication with this person. This is communication. This is back and forth communication. This is open, honest, straightforward communication. You feel alone in this connection, though. What's going on? You, you love this person a, a lot, um, but you are not considering yourself being in a relationship right now meaning if somebody came up to you and asked you if you were in a relationship you would say you're single available so you are not in a relationship with this person but you love this person so there is need for communication between the two of you this is communication let me see what's going on here yeah you see this is you very sad so there are serious communication issues because six of the swords is pointing up. A lot of you are dealing with um, Pisces, Cancerian, Scorpio, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. All signs are showing up here. Water signs, air signs, fire signs, earth signs. All signs. Very strong Pisces energy showing up here. Also Capricorn, Virgo, no matter what sign you're dealing with, it shows here that this is unresolved. Like there is a great need for communication between you two. You can move on, even though you're not in a relationship with this person at this particular time. <clears throat> you feel single, not in a relationship, available. You still love this person <clears throat> and you feel you can move on. You can move on because you still love them. So you feel like there's a great need for communication some kind of peaceful resolution here yeah universe please show us what's coming towards aquarius how is aquarius dealing and doing in on the soulmate journey they on right now <clears throat> yeah you see this is good though this is good wheel of fortune so you two will get a chance to communicate you see here is you knight of swords pointing a sword towards heaven and here is a wheel of fortune major arcana life force cards with a leo a lion holding a sword towards heaven a lot of you are dealing with the opposite sign which is a leo but they could be any sign whatsoever this shows that the universe will give you another opportunity to communicate work at this handle this um you feel you met them for a reason. You feel this person is very significant. This shows me here that you and this person were together many lifetimes. Many lifetimes in romantic. Yeah, silent treatment showing up here. Uh, Aquarius, you showing up here as very intuitive. Uh, a lot of you are communicating directly with Archangel Michael, working with Archangel Michael. Uh, whether you consciously aware of it or not subconsciously you are aware you're getting 
messages from that archangel to help you because you're very intuitive whether you do any type of spiritual work for a living or as a hobby it's equally important you showing up here as very intuitive uh, psychic yeah sensitive to energy this is you being quiet right now though silent treatment showing up here yeah this person <coughs> this person is showing up here very guarded emotionally not communicating with you they also feel you are very guarded emotionally towards them like you for some reason they feel like you are uh distancing yourself emotionally from them like you gave up on them you see this is you feeling this enormous connection with this person past life history uh, reminiscing about them loving them and they loving you but what's needed here is open honest communication because i think the two of you are misunderstanding each other at this time well that's going to happen whenever people are not communicating no matter what kind of relationship you're in whether it's romantic family business people need to learn how to communicate effectively uh, no silent treatment silent treatments only create drama problems yeah yeah, this person doesn't want to fight or argue, Aquarius. They don't want to fight or argue, neither do you. So there are some serious inconsistencies showing up here, disagreements, arguments of serious nature. Yeah, you want to be reciprocal and you want to see them being reciprocal and communicate with you in return. Yeah, so you know that's what's needed. Reciprocity. Both people need to put work into this. Both people need to communicate wow so apologies will need to be spoken on both sides yeah that's what shows clearly here uh apologies will need to be spoken on both sides look at this uh upheaval so it was heading in the wrong direction there was something off something toxic and had to be dismantled <clears throat> because the tower is showing up let me drink sorry guys <clears throat> i don't want to cough in your ear sorry yeah um fights disagreements of serious nature misunderstandings uh so apologies will be needed on both sides this person has a lot of pride aquarius no matter what sign they are or gender they are they have a lot of pride and they they can hold a grudge they can hold a grudge uh, a lot of you are dealing with the virgo leo Pisces could be any sign whatsoever all signs showed up but the same signs are showing up over and over again so that means most of you are dealing with your opposite sign also Pisces also Capricorn Virgo wow they showed up already in your energy let's see what's going on with them universe please step in show very clear and important messages for the sign of Aquarius for Aquarius highest good please Universe, the soulmate of Aquarius, the soulmate of Aquarius. What is going on with the soulmate of Aquarius? And how is the soulmate of Aquarius currently relating to Aquarius, especially emotionally? And what's on the mind? Wow, very strong extra background message. This person loves you yeah all nights deliver something knight of cups delivers emotions a lot of feelings emotional gestures apologies explanations this is emotional yeah this person wants a new beginning with you <clears throat> they want a new beginning with you but they're showing up as hesitant as shy emotionally like not sure when they should extend the olive branch or if they should extend it they want to though yeah yeah you see look at this enormous connection they feel with you lovers a lot of you are dealing with the gemini uh, no matter what sign they are it shows here that this person feels enormous connection with you like you are the one for them but then they restrain themselves hold back for some reason they keep holding back a lot of you are dealing with the leo also, Virgo. Ooh, 
<clears throat> hmm. Let me see what's going on here. This is them feeling very guarded emotionally. Um, they showing up here as having a lot of heartbreak. They went through a lot of heartbreak in their life. They're very cautious, careful. Let me see. Very strategic. Universe, please show us what's going on with the soulmate of Aquarius. And how is the soulmate of Aquarius towards Aquarius currently? They miss you a lot. Yeah. This person misses you a lot. This is them feeling sad, empty without you, missing you, <clears throat> but yet not taking action. Yeah, this person is pondering on things, weighing things out, um, trying to make sense of things, uh, balancing themselves. A lot of you are dealing with Sagittarius. Ooh, heartbreak showing up here. <clears throat> this person feels enormous heartbreak sadness yeah look at this something happened between you two guys whether <clears throat> you walked away or they walked away or you had a fight uh, it was something that was toxic unbalanced and had to be dismantled for your own good but here it shows this person's very heartbroken yeah they're not discussing it not showing it they're holding it inside this person's heartbroken, feeling sad, neglected, rejected, left out in a cold. Very sad. Look at this. Five of Pentacles with three of swords. Heartbreak. You see, they're not communicating. Uh, they're holding back on communication. <clears throat> they view you as very guarded, and they also very guarded. Hmm. Yeah, this person would like to take a leap of faith, have new beginning with you. There are some people in their life that are trying to advise them what they should or shouldn't do with you, if they should give it another chance or not. But really, it's nobody's business what the two of you do. They don't understand what the two of you have in store uh, to accomplish together they don't know what life lessons you're supposed to learn in this lifetime from each other so it's really nobody's business people really need to learn to butt out of people's personal business life choices unless of course you ask or they ask directly for uh, advice but people really need to uh, concentrate on their own drama and their own life and if you notice, a lot of people who try to tell people, other people, what to do, how to live their life, have total hot mess in their own personal life. So really, it's nobody's business uh, or concern what the two of you do or don't do. As an adult, you have the right to make your own uh, decisions for your life, whether other people approve of it or not. <clears throat> yeah, you see, this person feels enormous heartbreak. Um, they're not with you. Aquarius, they're not with you. They feel enormous heartbreak about it. This is this is like opposite energies. Here's heartbreak, disappointment, regret, sadness, depression, and here's happiness, joy, emotional fulfillment in relationship, wedding, living together, engagement, yeah, marriage, proposal, stuff like that. So it's like they feel so sad they're not with you in long-term relationship right now like they feel like they lost the chance or you too lost the chance for that they not giving up on you though interesting this person is not giving up on you no they not look at this a lot of you are dealing with the leo sagittarius aries this person is waiting on communication to see what happens they've not given up on you hmm but yet they're not taking action right now let me see what's going on here Universe, what's going on with the soulmate of Aquarius? How is the soulmate of Aquarius doing? What's going on? They're thinking, pondering, quietly, analyzing things. A lot of you are dealing with the Virgo. Look, both of you, <coughs> both of you, very guarded emotionally. Both of you analyzing things quiet no communication but you're not 
uh, just sitting there looking pretty. Both of you are doing inner work. Are you watching each other though? You're observing each other. You see? This person loves you deeply. Yeah, you see? <coughs> They're not expressing it, verbalizing it, not showing it, but they love you very deeply. And here is that again emotional offer, apologies, gestures, peace offerings. Hmm. Wow. Let's see. We're going to go into your extended reading, Aquarius, and ask about your soulmate's current true long-term intentions and plans for you. Then we're going to ask what they're hiding from you at this time, what they have up their sleeve, whether they're hiding it on purpose or can't communicate for whatever reason, but the universe feels you need to be aware of for your highest good. And of course, at the end, we're going to ask advice for you from universe, from spirit, on how to best handle the soulmate connection at this time and anything else you need to know about your life, whether it's your health, finances, business, job opportunities, family matters, friendships, whatever it is you need to know, they'll show it at the end of the reading as well. So Aquarius, click on the extended link below this video in the description box below and I'll see you there.